new Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today. And as always, editor Alexis Milner is here now to talk about some of the week's big stories. Good morning and happy Friday good to morning. you. morning. Happy Friday. It's always good to see you. Good to see you. All right, we're talking the Sundial, that new development in St. Pete. Businessman Bill Edwards has already put, what, $40 million into it? A lot of it, money. So What's going to make it successful? Well, that's what we've been asking. It's been very slow to figure out who the tenants are going to be. And we've heard about, in the last couple of weeks, Tommy Bahama and some, some high-end restaurant and food choices. It's been very sort of methodical about uh, releasing that information. But our story this week, our cover story, talks about the fact that there's a residential boom around St. Pete that's happened. And, and, and things have gotten a lot better in terms of the economy in St. Petersburg. So what's going to make it work? Part of this is the demographics of, of people wanting to live and shop nearby. And so he's been very careful about trying to find a mix of things that people will want to go to again and again. Chances are probably pretty good that there'll be some success in the economy. Things that don't have a lot to do with what Bill Edwards can control will impact the success of Sundial. Yeah, it's kind of like if you build it, they will come. The millennials That's are coming. That's what he's coming. thinking. Yeah. And sometimes, again, if the economy is in your favor and, and you struck it right, Hopefully it'll be a success because yeah. the area could use it, but it's just a really great place to go and visit these days. And I don't think that was the case for a lot of years at, 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 at you know at the former center. Yeah, it's going to be exciting to watch mm -hmm. what happens there. Great. Up next, you recently hosted a, an executive roundtable about economic development, and some of the top executives in the area were there, and they said their number one priority is the local workforce. We do these executive roundtables. We invite people in certain sectors to lunch, and I moderate a discussion. It's designed to help us do a better job of covering these areas, and we brought in economic development. And, and the number one thing. It used to be trying to attract headquarter locations here, but now they're really focused on high-skilled, high-wage jobs, and, and are now there, there's a little bit more cooperation on both sides of the bay, and they're working together. And finally today, the new Le Meridian Boutique Hotel opens in Tampa on Monday. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on how successful it will well, be? Well, we have a slideshow. I, I put up a bunch of images on our website. I went in there, got some of the first looks. It, the marble in the existing building is stunning. It still looks like a courthouse, but they've done a really good job of creating sort of the matching some of the colors in the rooms and the fixtures to match the old courthouse. It's, it's, it remains to be seen. It's a high-end boutique hotel, but I think that they've done some really nice design work in there, and, and uh, it was nice to get in there finally and take a look. You said it still looks like a courthouse, but isn't that sort of part of the appeal? I think so, because they have you know the, some of the old frosted glass signs, and as a hearing room next and then it's the restroom. I mean, so it's kind of you have that sense that you're in an old courthouse and it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty spectacular, actually. Yeah, all right, can't wait to see it. Yeah, you should get down there and look. Always good to see you. Me too, dear. And for more Business Journal headlines, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash marketplace.